y'all wanted a plague and all I wanted was some goddamn bread. Alright, so rant time, my boys. So, tonight, I just went to the store to grab some bread. Simple enough, right? Just go to the grocery store, buy some bread. It's not that hard, right? Go get a loaf of bread, you know, make a sandwich, make a BB&J, you know? Quench the hunger for the good classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But here's the problem. I went to three fucking grocery stores to try and find a fucking loaf of bread. That's all I wanted was just one loaf of bread. How hard could it be? But no, no. I walk into HEB, fucking shelves are empty. Took a peek down the toilet paper aisle just because I was walking past it, fucking empty. I don't need toilet paper, it's just fucking empty. All the water bottles are gone too, just gone. No more. Like, people are fucking freaking out about the stupid virus that they're just buying all the shit. I just want a fucking loaf of bread. Just one. And the shelves are empty. Why do y'all need all that bread? Y'all not gonna eat it all. It's gonna get fucking moldy in your house. And I just want one fucking sandwich. Like, god damn it, people. The fucking worst. I drove by Randall's, didn't even bother going in. I just looked inside and their fucking shelves were empty too. I was like, fuck that shit. I went to Walmart. Oh my god, Walmart was also a madhouse. Fucking, I walked past a woman who had six of those gallon water bottles in her cart. Six! Like, after I had found my, like, one loaf of bread, that I was like, oh, thank god, they have at least one loaf of bread. I grabbed it, went to the cashiers, and, you know, on my way back, I saw there was, like, on the end cap, there was, like, a bunch of super soakers. I almost grabbed one of those and put it in the cart of the woman with the six bottles of water. And if she saw me, I was gonna look her dead ass in the eyes and be like, well, you gotta use this water for something, right? What do you need six gallons of water? It's a fucking glorified flu! Not a fucking hurricane! Jesus Christ, people! You're not stuck in a snowstorm! It's a flu! I don't understand people freaking the fuck out. Like, I get it. You don't want to get sick. That's fine. Y'all want to quarantine yourselves. That's fine. But why do you gotta just take all of the useful stuff that everybody needs? Like, holy hell. Like, if you really need water, guess what? There's a tap. Come here. Are you watching this? Keep an eye on this bit here, right? Wow. Holy shit. There's a tap. Oh my god. Is that so hard to understand? Just, you know, taking a cup, going to the sink, and then filling it up. And look at that. Oh my god, it's water. I don't know, some people are gonna be like, oh, well, it's not purified. It's like, who the fuck doesn't have like a purifying like pitcher or one of those attachments that goes onto like the sink to purify the water? Or who else just doesn't fucking change out their water filters? Is that so fucking hard, people? Like, goddamn. Holy shit. But no. Gotta buy six gallons of water and all the bread you can find. It's ridiculous. Like, no joke, when I found the one loaf of bread, I found at least, like, a handful of loaves, too. And it's like, the thought crossed my mind. They're like, maybe I should grab a second loaf of bread. Just in case. You know, just, just, just in case. But then I thought, it's like, you know what, no. I'm not gonna be that person. I'm not gonna walk out of here with two loaves of bread. I'm not gonna hoard the bread. Because I know, I know some poor soul is gonna come in behind me like, where the fuck is all the bread? You know, and I hope, I hope the next person will at least find a loaf of bread. Like, the one that I didn't buy and be like, oh yes, good. I just need one loaf of bread. But odds are, the next person who's gonna come in is like, oh sweet, there's like six loaves left? I'm gonna fucking take them all. 
Like, Jesus Christ, why are people like this? I just, I don't get it. I don't. And even as I was leaving Walmart with my singular loaf of bread, something that I should have gotten in less than five minutes, but I had to take like 30 minutes to go to three different grocery stores, shout out to the train, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's fucking insane. And as I was leaving Walmart, I saw a woman, she opens up her car door, and before getting in, grabs a spray bottle. I don't know what it was filled with, it looked like it was Windex or something, and just starts spraying her hands. And it's like, woman, you are a healthy looking grown ass woman. What, what are you doing? Like if you're, if you're that worried about it, just, how about, how about, how about you just like, I don't know, go back inside the store and like, go to the bathroom and wash your hands. I know public restrooms are not the cleanest, but you know, I think I think you can survive like the 10 minutes it takes you to drive back home to wash your hands at home too, you know? That's like like that's that's an option. You ever, you ever you ever think about that? Just go home, wash your hands. Have you ever thought of like maybe not like, you know, sticking your whole fist in your mouth and like licking the inner bits as much as you can and be like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do this with this virus going around. <laughs> it's just like, I, I, I don't get it. I can understand taking precautions, but we're at a ridiculous level of people freaking out buying everything that they can from the stores and then just hoarding it like it's a bunch of dragons but with like a horde of bread instead of a horde of gold like shit you're gonna make a, a whole like fort out of the toilet paper rolls that you bought you're gonna take all the uh you know paper towels that you found too and make those as little towers on your toilet paper fort Good lord! I don't get it. I don't understand people. I just want some fucking bread. Oh no. 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 I was surrounded by all of them. Shit. 